Hey, it's Jason from EnlightenedWebMastery.com. Today, I'm going to talk about how to make your WordPress site iPhone and iPod Touch friendly. Now, by default, whenever you view your website, specifically a WordPress website inside of your iPhone or your iPod Touch, it's going to look pretty good. Safari does a really good job and allows the user to easily see the content and sort around. But sometimes your website might not be as well optimized as you would like and by using this technique you're going to be able to offer your iPhone and your iPod users a specially designed site and it's going to take you about less than five minutes to implement this so what I'm going to show you here is how to do it again you can check out the article at enlightenedwebmastery.com for all the details I'm going to show you some pictures some before some afters and what to really look for and how this is going to help you that way you know if this is something you're going to want to implement or not now I wrote out all the steps as well as posted an article showing you how to do this process step by step at enlightenedwebmastery.com so this is going to be a quick little breakdown of all the steps you need to do so inside of your dashboard you're going to need to click plugins scroll down to the bottom choose installer or on your dashboard under plugins you can click add new and then inside the search bar you type in WP touch one word and then click the click search then when that shows up click install and then activate and then you're going to want to test, test, test. So let me show you some screenshots and some pictures so you can see what's going on. So inside of your dashboard, it's going to look something like this. So right at the search bar over here is where you're going to type in WP Touch, just one word. And whenever you're done, once you click search, this will pop up. And all you need to do is click install. When you click install, this screen is going to pop up. And you may get a warning saying this plugin has not been tested with the current version of WordPress. But... In my testing it's been okay so this does work with 2.7 so you can go ahead and install this by clicking the install now once you do that you're gonna to be took to another screen and from there you got to enter your login information your password which I cover in another video and another tutorial on enlightenedwebmastery.com after that you'll say it's been successful and all you have to do is click this activate plugin button once you've done that you, you're good to go you don't have to do anything else but if you want you can go ahead and check under your settings under WP Touch and you can go to the admin panel which looks like this. From here you can see the latest news and you can choose whether you want to enable jQuery or not, if you want to enable Gravatars or not, which I recommend leaving these on and I, I recommend leaving enable comments for pages off unless this is something you really implement like you post up pages and you want people commenting on those pages. So this is really all you have to do. Now, next, I'm going to show you some screenshots, some before and after of the website so you can see how things looked before and how they look now. So, previous to me installing WP Touch to my website, whenever you visited my website with your iPhone and your iPod Touch, this is similar to the screen that you'd be presented to. You see the header, you see what's new, and it basically looks the exact same as it does whenever you're viewing it on a web browser. <clears throat> so, this is the home page and here's what an article looked like whenever you viewed it on the iPhone now remember well an iPhone you can always just move your fingers and pinch in and pinch out to zoom in and zoom out of the text so the text is much more readable there than it is on the screenshot but as you can see it's very crowded even here this is what the home page looked like in landscape mode where the text is a little bit bigger now after installing the plugin the home page now looks like this whenever you view it on an iPhone now whenever you're viewing it on a regular web page it still looks the same but whenever you view the same website on an iPhone it now looks like this <clears throat> so as you can see you can see the title the date the author the categories and the tags and you can also see this little arrow right up here at the top now what this does is it slides down and shows a brief little preview of the article here's what an article now looks like on the website as you can see it scales nice and the text is very readable Here's what it looks like in landscape mode and right now I'm going to go ahead and touch this on the iPhone and it'll drop down and show the preview. So whenever you click the button that shows. You can click the read more button to read more, you can click the title, you can do all that. It's really really nice and it's really clean. Now if you want your users to be able to see your website the way it normally is, once they get to the bottom of the screen all they have to do is click normal view right here. When they click normal view, they'll be taken back to your regular website. And on the regular website at the bottom of your footer, you're going to have a button right here where you can click phone view or normal view, which is grayed out. So I hope you've seen what you can do 
and what this plugin can and will do for you. So maybe you want to test this out, try it out. Now, if you don't have an iPhone, there is a tool that you can use on a Mac called iPhoney. And what that does is basically like a little emulator and you can change your user agent so you can switch between WebKit and iPhone. So whenever you do that, you can get a, a little preview of what your website looks. It's not 100% accurate. I had problems using it. I was going to show it as a demo here instead of using screenshots, but it's a little problematic right now. So that could just be me on my end, or it could be them, or it could be the website. But test this stuff out on your real, real website. Don't just, you know, leave it alone or use an emulator. Now, just installing the plugin, this will not affect any of your regular users at all. It'll only show up whenever they visit with your iPhone or iPod Touch. I think this is a great add-on, and it makes your website much more friendly for the mobile crowd. So I hope you've enjoyed this article, and as always, you can read the full article at enlightenedwebmastery.com. So I encourage you to go out and try this today, see how it works, and let your users know that they have an iPhone-friendly version to check out your website with. This is really, really easy, takes little time to do, and it can mean the world to your mobile users because it allows them to view your website in a much more friendly way. My website's not too horrible right now, but some people have a lot more complicated websites, more complicated designs, and on the mobile phone it might be a lot harder for your user to check out your site and easily get to where they want to go to. So by applying this and seeing how it works, it may be a keeper for you or it may not. So you might want to just go ahead and check this out and see how it works for you today. Thanks.